Welcome. All right. Um, this um video is going to entail what is going on, and I'm gonna break it down simply because a lot of people have been sending me a lot of videos, and I'm listening to people and. All right, so um, let's um, explain in simple form what is really happening, what is really transpiring. All right, so 2020, what did I say? Secrets, I, the mother, the divine mother and the divine father. What is really transpiring at this moment is just changes, changes that needs to be happening on this planet changes that we need to understand who we are as human beings on this planet whether you're a star seed galactic in um 3d 4d 5d okay i'm the first one that started with this um uh, 3d 4d and 5d people are taking it out of proportion now people are placing fear in other people and i am doing this video to release the fear okay so let's um get um let's break this down 2020 is a year where we are going to be confronted with ourselves okay and what i mean by confronted with ourselves is that we need to understand who we has as a spiritual person on this planet whether we're spiritual whether we're not whether we're trying to find ourselves. this is what 2020 is about I did give a message. I see someone is using my pictures and using my videos without even asking. Um, and just, uh, um, you know, I don't appreciate that. Um, I think if you want to um, do an interview with me or ask me um, to do an interview, um, it is disrespectful to be using other people um, information to making videos and sending it around without an um asking me all right so whoever you are i think that um thank you whoever you are um i'd like you to remove the video all right because i don't have any time for the um for bs okay because you're using my videos whatever way you're taking my pictures and you're using my videos now I have given this information out that this virus was going to happen and it's going to be stunting um, travelers. And that was um, a video of 2029. I remember I have this red red dress on um, and that was a 29 video. Now, because my frequency is a vibrate higher than other people frequency, I receive information that comes out to I will give a prediction and this is why I stopped giving prediction because people are using the information for, you know, their own um, use. Now, what I'm trying to say to people and you need to understand, if you need to ask me for an interview, um, it's okay. You can ask me for an interview, but do not use my, my videos and my information without an accent. You are creating fear. I know that I give this information, but the information, if you notice people, humanity is not ready for certain information. Now I have been, um, connected, um, to certain organization institution and, um, I just receive, um, uh, I receive a lot of video people are asking me and even my friends are asking me and we need not to fear. There is no fear. There's no taking out your money. There is nothing about the internet is going to shut down. There is nothing about the cabals and the thing. People stop giving false information. It's false information in order for your videos to um, explode or to get more viewers. This is not the time. You are not a light worker. If you're giving out information like that, you're just not a light worker. Light workers are here to protect humanity and to protect people and give people positive energies whenever the information is supposed to be given and whatever information. Do not go to the bank and pick up your money because um, you're hearing that this and it's going to close down and this and this and this is happening. It is a reason why this is happening and humanity is not ready for 
the answers okay humanity is not ready for the answer so what i can advise people to do is to stay home find some time to reconnect with your family reconnect with your children whatever countries are now closed down shut down you need to reconnect with yourself reconnect with your children realize what is happening and what is transpiring there's no need for fear okay this virus will be over soon governments of the world are doing their best in order to protect their borders and in order to protect um the people of their countries um so that this virus doesn't explode okay where is this virus coming from why was this virus there is a lot of virus that is um the people you know there's a documentary series on netflix and now it's the time if you don't have a netflix abandonment take out netflix abandonment because there's a lot of documentation and a lot of information that you can receive to educate yourself and you can receive it on netflix people um stop using this time light to create wealth for yourself and giving people false information ladies and gentlemen this timeline is to protect yourself and to reawaken who you are as a spiritual person okay so do not play in because government of the world are providing for their um their um folk folk people um ways and means so that people business and that sort of a thing is not closed um and, and and making sure that your financial stability is still aware it is to clear that the virus doesn't expose okay so if they don't shut down the countries then people are going to be traveling um with the bus the train open bar some people go with a car some places but some people go with whatever that has to do with to open um a huge places group stay away from those things because if you're um are easily um like older people older people will have this virus okay older people will get this virus people who are old um and have you know different kind of sickness people who have a sugar people who have a heart disease lung disease they will um catch this virus listen ladies and gentlemen there's thousands of viruses okay um it's that this one was not caught on time and uh, um, the World Health Organization did not receive the information on time so that they should start creating a virus, uh, a, 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 um, um, a, a connection to this virus. Okay, so you have like the flu virus. Everyone gets the flu virus and everyone get a pricks for the flu virus. Uh, and uh, this virus is new so every time that a new virus comes out they the world organize the world health organization have to find out um what is the cost of the virus and how to treat this virus so um the vaccination takes 18 months to create and what governments of the world is doing is actually protecting their borders and their people so that it doesn't escalate out of proportion in order to protect us as uh, um, humans and to protect uh, the species of our planets this crazy hype that people are given and the information that they're given is incorrect it is actually a time that was created by the divine mother and father in order for you to make decision whether you're staying in the three dimension whether you're going to the fourth dimension or whether you are moving to the five dimension because at 2032 everyone on this planet needs to move to five dimension frequency okay so i will advise you 
to go and look for information that is going to give you positive energy and not is going to be creating fear that you need to go to the bank because the internet is going to be down and this is going to be down and that it's not true it's not true it is a time that divine mother and father step in i did give you guys this message in this year that the divine it is a year of the divine mother and father this is a time that we need to choose are we going to choose to stay in the three dimension um where we only think of materialistic things or we are going to be a moving to the fourth dimension that is going to protect us to understand that we need to use spirituality and science it's all about spirituality and science it's all about understanding um spirituality and science in order for us to understand why are we here on this planet and why we were placed on this planet okay it is not a time to play on people fears okay um because whatever they're speaking about the cabal and the this and the that people get a hold of yourself it's not true okay it's about a higher power so people can create whatever they want to create but there's a higher power who is making sure that these things happen okay um all leaders of the countries all leader of the world know that there are higher power intergalactic and beams that run this planet okay and above them there is the source of all things the female and the masculine energy which is the source of all things so before you are going to be opening up yourself to fear what is fear fear in something that will never ever happen fear in something that you have no idea so it is important not only to listen to me but as my son always say google that shit okay google that shit go for positive messages okay because it doesn't make any sense i'm gonna tell you you know yes this virus was created and blah 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 and blah 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 i told you guys it was going to happen okay however you will look at it is it a form of depopulation however you may look at it the source this is a power and this was created that people try and find out who they are and reconnect with yourself on a personal level to understand whether you are aware of the existence are you awakened this is a time that we all get to stay home and reconnect with ourselves and reconnect with our families understanding who we are and why is this transpiring so that we can change our frequency of vibration okay so ladies and gentlemen and this is it because a lot of people uh, have been sending me all of these and I'm, I'm i'm listening and it's just bs it is bs because uh, um, it's not the first time that there's virus there's different virus how many virus have we have in her lifetime what is the possibility of we um, getting the virus the virus is actually all the people will um, die from the virus but younger people will withstand the virus okay whenever we start to think about a virus killing kids that is when we start to worry kids are going to be overcoming this virus because they are going to be their energy their their um genetic bow is different okay so um all young kids will overcome this virus because it has nothing to do with them but if you notice the older people 60 65 and older these are the people that is going to be affected by this virus it is time for them to cross over these are ways and means that super group cross over to the spirit side because they in all the will come back and help us to go through this ascension process this is the beginning of ascension so ladies and gentlemen if you do not have the correct information stop giving false information to people it is the breakdown 
and the stop. I said the circle, Omega. That is what is happening now. Everything has to shut down in order to create balance in order for us uh, to restart and restart up a positive uh, direction in our lives. Okay. So whatever you're worried about, I'm saying to you, let it go. Okay. Whatever that is affecting you at this moment, I'm saying, let it go. It's all about you reprogramming yourself. This shutdown is, uh, is for people to understand what is happening to them. And in order to reprogram yourself and to understand that we need to do, we need to change as a person and change begin with you. And then it moves out to other people. So whenever you're going to be, because a lot of people are going to be looking for themselves and looking for the right people, looking for the right information that they're going to be connecting to, to understand. If you use the information of fair, you will not make it out of uh, this crash. Okay. It's like a crash. It's like a, a shutdown. It's a shutdown of everyone in order for us to find our inner self, who we are as a person, who we are as a beam, who are we? Are we multi-dimension? Am I in the three dimension? Do I need to reconsider? It's like a wake up call. Okay. So when people are giving out information and this and that and that, does it really matter? The source created everything. Everything was planned for each and every one of us. Each and every one of us came on this planet with a plan. Okay. We write our scripts before we came on this planet. So everyone who is alive at this moment, we're aware that this moment is going to be happening, whether or not you're consciously awakened or not consciously awakened. This is a time of reawaken yourself and pushing yourself in a conscious direction, in a positive direction, in order to flow with the frequency of love. It's about letting go of the materialistic things. It's about understanding that I have those things, but I need to balance out the rest of my life. Okay. So you have accumulate stuff, you have accumulate materialistic thing, and now you're going to be thinking, okay, I have accumulated things, but still there is change that is coming up on this planet. I can feel it in myself. I can see it around. And this is a time where everything is shut down. I can't go anywhere. So people are either going to be on their phone. People are going to be looking at information. People are going to be finding their soul family at this time in order to understand and in order to educate themselves. So for the rest of the people, and I really don't care what you guys have to say, we need to, as a light worker and a true and positive light worker is going to tell you fear doesn't help. It's being a light worker. You understand that you have to know that there is a wall and you have to walk through that wall. No matter what is happening around you, no matter how your life is falling apart, you have to take up the work of a light worker and do the job. Okay. So it's not about telling people go close your bank account or go get your money and that it's BS people and telling people about the internet is going to close down because, and they're closing down countries because they're picking up this people and that people is BS. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, really think about it. It is BS. Okay. There is a shift that is happening on this planet. I did say to you, People are not ready for the information. And this is why government of the world do not tell you the information. Certain things like viruses and this sort of thing needs to be created so we can have people under control in order to make certain changes happening. This shutdown is a shutdown that is going to be awakening you, me, my kids, everyone. Okay. Because you are going to be confronted that you can't go to school. You can't go anywhere and you have to regain consciousness. So a lot of people are going to be spiritually awakening after this shutdown as, um, 
it, it, how long how long it takes okay um, for this virus because it takes 18 months ladies and gentlemen 18 months to find a vaccination for this virus when did the world uh, health organization knows about this okay they're humans we have to they have to study a lot of things to see what is going to work and how this vaccination is going to help other people so in the meantime it is time for you to um, start eating healthy this is a time when people needs to wake up I teach you about eating for your blood type it is one of the most beautiful things because it has helped me and I only give people information that I know is very helpful so for all the light workers out there it is time for you to all come together find your soul families and heal the planet because this is what the shutdown is all about healing the planets okay this is a time where we know because a couple of years ago as I've been telling people governments of the world know that there is a Aya power and there are Aya super beams that comes in give them the information they all know that this was going to happen but people are not ready for the information and even if when I give information this is what I say to people um, if I really um, give you the information some of you are not ready for the information because you're still in the 3d you're still believing that it's all about you were born uh, you get married you have kids you go to the best school you study and everything and, and and that's it that's not what it's all about you're here to clear karmas with other people um you're here to understand what it is if you are still in the three dimension people are going to be waking up and this is why the shift because it's an ascension process ladies and gentlemen this is the first huge shift for the ascension process because another it is coming in 2021 so if you don't learn from this it's all about going back to basis it's all about breaking down and going back to basis and if you understand that ladies and gentlemen you will be aware of what exactly is transpiring now how can i explain um accounting to someone who doesn't understand what accounting is all about if you do not understand what is balance and um what is uh, um, profit and loss I can't explain the process because you need to understand the balance the basis of accounting before I, I I can't tell someone how to be a nurse because I have no idea I can't be a doctor because I have no idea it's about all of us going back to the basis to understand the reality of who we are and why we are on this planet and why this is happening this has been this was predicted a very long time and if people go back and watch my videos i keep on giving you a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and a little bit of information okay if i told people that the stock market was going to crash um it, the, the evidence of it will happen in this year of course it is obvious that it's going to be happening i don't get involved because that is a form of fear because if you have a money on the stock market that is a form of fear okay i don't give a form of fear because um with every actions that we take there is a reaction okay so if you're going to be um, placing tons and tons of money in um, something that you're not aware of, you have never seen the fabric, you're never, you don't know the process of this. It's just your problem because um, you need to understand whatever you have. Hold on to whatever you have, but do not, uh, do not hold on to whatever you have, but do not. Um, give up what you don't have and I simply explain the process a lot of people um always is looking for extras all right so you have an account and you're gonna take a higher um, savings account because you want more and that is it it's a form of wanting more and more and this is what we this is why this this crash has to come to help people to understand 
that um, we need to change the frequency of who we are. Okay. We need to change the frequency of who we are. Um, if we constantly think and be placed in the materialistic world, that is all that we think about. We need to understand the point where we are and how we are going to get from point A to point B. And this is a time with this shutdown and with everything that is happening and with this virus, you, you're going to be awakened and think, oh my God, what have I done? Um, how have I... Um, career my life um what can i show if you know if i pass away um you know what would the motto of who i was and that is where you're going to be coming back to yourself and think wow i've never thought about you know what is my legacy what have i created on this planet what have i give to humanity what have i done for another person and that's when you're going to start to understand what is unconditional love um you know why have i been holding hate in my heart why it's going to be a time that some of you are going to be facing yourself and and looking at all that you have done it is a time to let us go back and look at what we have done to others and what we have done um for ourselves this is a time that it's given us a time to realign on our energies, but yet still to change our frequency to a more positive alignment of frequency. So ladies and gentlemen, however way you look at it and on whatever that is happening in your life, in whatever way, it is about you looking back at who you are and trying to become a more positive alignment of uh, a person, a spiritual being is moving from out the 3D into the 4D when you understand, okay, all right, this is when the churches are going to be falling um, because people are going to be realized it is BS. They always tell me that God is coming and, 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 and you know, how many people, if you ask someone who has gone to church and now they're under it, they're always, church is always preaching that God is coming, you know, where is he? You know, that sort of a thing. You're going to start questioning things that you have never questioned before. So I am not seeing any fear for this timeline right now. What I'm seeing is that it's ascension. So in order for, and this is something that was planned, in order for us to reconnect with ourselves and understand who we are, Things like these, like this virus and the situation has to happen so that we can regain an understanding of why we are here and the actions and the reactions, the karmas, the hurt, the pain, and kind of healing those things and balancing them so that when we start and when everything starts to open up again, we open as this beautiful lotus, okay? You don't have to sit to behave like a lotus. You don't have to be, because a lot of people who are, who, um, you know, say they're spiritual. And so are you really spiritual? Are you really spiritual? Those are questions that we're going to be starting to ask ourselves. Because I always say to people, I'm spiritual. How can I show that I'm spiritual? Because I respect people and I respect other people. And I... I'm someone who I have unconditional love. I take things in. I'm an empathy. And I will not. I don't create and I don't accept negative thoughts. Once I am being bombarded from someone who is sending me negative thoughts, I can just close it off. I have no negative thoughts for anyone. Whatever you do and you say, that is your problem, your opinion, your karma to clear because I am not. I am someone who speak up. I speak from a positive place. And even if the information that is not coming out is not connected to you, leave it because it's not your message. Okay. But for the rest when people say that they're spiritual, it's about understanding that you have to leave the three dimension in order to go in the four dimension to understand that your kids, your friend, 
your husband, your wife could be hurting you, stabbing you in the back, but yet still you're loving that person unconditionally because there is that place where you have understanding of that that person is just working on their own karma okay and people are saying that we need how can we forgive someone who have um you know kill your son your daughter um your parents uh, yeah um they have made their um karma connection with that person now that thousands of people would not understand but yes they did so whenever you reach to the point that you understand we are not only alone on this planet not all of us is from this planet unconditioned love is the only thing that is real time is not real time is just on this planet time is nowhere else in the solar system that we are not alone that there are spiritual beams okay um it is a time when your spirit guides and your um guiding angels are going to be coming in when the churches can be honest and tell the truth that there is spirituality is and um science and spirituality is the way to go okay that means the church is going to be um falling because people are going to be understanding that they have been kept in the dark for so many years it's about educating yourself it's about receiving the information it's about understanding understanding questions and things that you're not receiving from media okay it's about opening up your world and understand that I'm a human being, but the rest of the planet is also here, and we all need to work together in order to have a positive vibration on this planet. And that's what it's all about, people. Ascension is taking up the light body. This time is going to help people to understand that what our grandmother told us about the war and what our grandparents and great grandparents told us about the war, we're going to be feeling this and understanding this but yet still it's gonna create a sort of a central point to us so ladies and gentlemen it's a time that you must choose you have to make that decision to choose you know, are you going to be living in fear your entire life? Are you going to be just facing things head on? Are you going to be understanding that, you know, whatever is transpiring, I got to face this head on and I got to know that it's going to be okay. It's about changing, reprogramming yourself. This time it's about reprogramming yourself. Mm. It is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen, when you can connect and reconnect with yourself. And a lot of us has been living in our shadows, okay? So a lot of us has been placed in a front up. A lot of us, the mask, the shadow side of us is going to be shattered because you're going to take over now. Now is the time that you're going to decide to take over you're going to be taking over you're going to be taking back your power you're going to be understanding so ladies and let gentlemen let no one put fear in you because there is nothing to fear you gotta just open up and understand that ascension means that we have to stop and gather our senses again it's like a rebirth of what is happening because if you notice we are shut down so people are not going to their neighbors you know you're shut down you need to reconnect with your family you need to understand okay you need to accept who you are 
but you need to learn to create a more positive vibration. It's about creating positive energy. It's about bringing back love. It's about vibrating on a high frequency energy vibration. So every planetary system has their own secret groups and it's about time that light workers back away from these secret groups and cope uh, and, and, and secrets um sectors and that sort of a thing because uh, you're not here um to speak about them it's not your place you're here to help humanity okay um a lot of people are bashing out about these secret groups and it's not your thing let it go all right if they're they're not affecting you people have these secrets um secret society it has always been before christ ever walk on hurt okay and most of churches have these secret society okay so whenever we're going and we're going to be bashing and this is what i say to people a light worker bring peace if you're a true light worker you bring peace and you don't speak about other um, organizations secret organization because it has nothing to you once you're not a part of it you were never a part of it it has nothing to do with you light workers help people to understand that changes is coming in changes that is going to be helping you to grow and frequent and your frequency is going to be um higher and bringing back love and life what other people do what other sectors organization do it's not your problem if they're not affecting you okay so when we speak about we as light workers given the light give the truth and give positive information okay we know as light workers that things is about to hit but when it is time we will give you the positive information so light workers and whoever is um, throwing up their hands and say light workers i don't have to say i'm a light workers i don't have to say i'm a this or a that because i know what i was placed here on this planet to do and i'm saying to you people do not let anyone put any fear in you question everything that is given question question everything question what i'm saying question everything that is given okay we need to stop throwing fear in people we need to understand that at this time we need to share positive energies with each other and give them the strength to think positive in order to overcome whatever is happening okay and you are standing in the eye of the hurricane at this moment okay so whether or not you have the power to get out of this eye of the hurricane we have to find the inner strength okay we get to find the inner strength and in order to find the inner strength we have to pull with each other and need i'm not pulling people apart and putting people in fear okay what the this group and the that group and the that society and the this society do that's their thing we need to respect that and as light workers we were taught um before we come to this planet that we're not supposed to get involved with politics and social grouping we are here to stand and help humanity to teach them about love and light light is information love is positive energy vibration where it changes your frequency so when a light worker is going to get up and tell you about this group that group that group that group and this and this and that that's not a light worker that is someone who is trying um to create some um conflicts or chaos okay there are different types of people and different types of group we learn to respect each other as we're on this planet but as um you are going to be using the name of a light worker a light worker bring positive energy and positive news to people so be aware of the information that you people because now is the time a lot of people are going to be on the internet looking for this looking for that at the end of the day you're going to be receiving so much information that you become even more fearful than you were ever 
It was as if, yeah, it was better that I didn't look at the information. Now I have to think about this. Now I have to think about that. Now I have to think about this. Whenever the information and whenever the time is right, you will find that information. Let no one push you in order to give you fear, in order for you to go and look for the information. Everyone works a different timeline. And this is what the higher beams know, that everyone works a different lifetime. During this time, most of you, that is when your um, spirit guides is going to be coming in. This is when they're going to be coming in and working with you. So, you know, your um, great, great, great grandfathers and that sort of a thing. Um, these are the spirit guides that is going to be coming in. There is nothing to fear. They're coming in to give us the information in order for us to know that we need to change. So they will um, help you to move from out the third dimension where you're going to start seeing things much clearer, where you're starting to share. Uh, people who never share is going to be starting to share. People who were, who were jealous is going to think, why have I been jealous? I'm wasting my time. It is much better that I start to create something for myself. So this is where, where the shutdown and it's, it's a crash where we need um, to find and reconnect with ourselves, okay? Because we're all, all of us walk around on this planet being very disconnected from ourselves, okay? And sometimes, even when people are there and I see people and I'm thinking, okay, all right, um, all right, let's move on. Because I can see it's like some people walk out of themselves. You walk out of yourself, meaning you just, you know, program. And now it's like they're deprogramming you, okay? You know, it's amazing. It's amazing that people can, uh, um, you know, pause on um, a, a thing like this that is affecting people worldwide. It's just like everyone. We, we, we can't say that this family and that family and that family is not going to be, um, you know, connected with this virus and however way, but it's the way that people are creating this own things. Okay. Um, you can have six kids, six kids play in a sandbox. There was something that was poisonous. All six kids eat it. And maybe one, you know, their blood type or their genetic um, build, it doesn't affect them. So this is, this is, this is, this is um, so strange that people are going to take this virus in whatever way it is. If it wasn't this virus, something else would have happened. We have, would have happened. Um, we have the firebrands, we have the earthquake. Whenever the source, the Omega, the divine mother and father decide, that they need to clear up whatever is going on on this planet, they use different ways and it's always natural disaster. But this is a form of natural disaster because it is a virus that some of us, our, um, our genetic bow um, cannot um, break down this virus, okay? So however way you look at it, um, you know, in every lifetime and in somebody's lifetime, it would it would have happened. How many um, viruses in our lifetime? And this is what I'm saying. Go check out um, Netflix, okay? Because there is a series on Netflix that is telling you about these different viruses. It's a whole documentary series. And instead of people are creating... Um, chaos for other people in order to create chaos, you educate yourself, okay? There's a, a lot of documentary and that's why there's streaming TV because a lot of streaming TV are bringing not only films, but it's also um, bringing in document documentaries. So you can, YouTube is another place that you can find all of this information. So, you know, the next person um, out there, you know, you're thinking, what am I going to do? Study something, learn something in the time. I mean, study and learn something. The governments are aware of this. They are protecting us by shutting down in order 
um, that the virus doesn't spread anymore because that's the real reason of this shutdown is that the virus doesn't spread anymore. They can have, because it takes 18 months, ladies and gentlemen, go Google that, Google that shit. It takes 18 months, 18 months to find out a vaccination for a virus. All right. So, all right. So what, you know, theoretically speaking, what did you expect the governments to do? Just let everything run and it's okay. People go to work and everybody get infected. Then there is more debt casualty. So it's just about, hello, take the time to read, study, find out more information, um, create something that is going to help humanity for other people. Go look for your soul family. Um, there is so many, um, you know, informational way of connecting with people. Um, but stop, um, creating chaos to tell people about this and that and this and that, you know, whenever the point, and I would have told you, I do not see, uh, I see the market crashing. Okay. Which it has to crash. That's how it, everything has to break down. Um, this, we have been warning you people from 2012 that we are coming to this time from the mark crash in 2008. We have been warning a lot of light workers, true light workers. Cause not everyone that say that they're light workers have been issuing the information. So when we are going to be looking now and seeing there would have been three days and three nights, three days of darkness. Okay. And the light workers at pray and spoke um, to the higher beam so that it would not happen because humanity, and this is it, ladies and gentlemen, you want the truth, but you can't deal with the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not ready. You know, you, you know, people, people in the three dimension, it's just not ready for the truth. And, and, and that's the honest, the honest truth, you know, and it's, it's just so funny. I have a friend. <laughs> I have a friend and, um, one day we were at lunch and I said, I said to, I said, I said, tell me your, your deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> He looked at me and said, if I tell you that you, you, it will keep you up all night. <laughs> and this is it. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing, but, but this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, people wants to know the truth, but you are not ready for the truth. And it's the honesty. If you really want to know the truth about what there is going on, you don't want the truth because you you can't understand it. And that is going to put you in more fear. Okay. Because when you leave the three dimension and leaving the three dimension is breaking down, it's understanding. All right. So I want to know if I'm a star seed, uh, a multi-dimension beam, or I was always, um, you know, create as, as a reincarnate on this planet. That's where you begin first. Cause you need to know, am I someone who has been just reincarnated on this planet? Am I from another solar uh, planet? How many lives have I had before? Those are situation and things that you need to find out in order to start breaking down and finding out who you you are. You got to look at your birth chart. You got to look at all the stuff that is going on in your birth chart. Okay. Your birth chart has the secret. You got to look at your name, your birth name, your birth name at birth. Okay. So not the people who have been stealing other people name and living on the other people name for a very long time. Not you. Okay. Real people, people, um, that, their birth names and all of that. You gotta look at your birth names. You gotta look at your birth chart. You gotta go, um, and you're gonna be finding out: Am I a reincarnated soul? Am I a multi-dimension soul? Or am I a star seed? A star seed is from another planet, another solar system, not the solar system. A totally different solar system. Okay. Am I a multi-dimension? 
how many lifetimes I've lived okay um, what is my life part number these are the things that you need to find out in order to find yourself okay so I'm not saying to you that you should go to a psychiatrist and yeah because I have all of these issues ladies and gentlemen it doesn't work it is BS it they are just to release release um they're just to release the stress you're going through okay it's 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 not and it's, it's it's to let people kids talk because most of them can't even help kids because kids our dna structure for kids are 12 strong from 2020 okay 2012 2000 anyone that is born from 2000 until now have a totally different dna strands that people that was born 50 60 years ago all right now if you notice who the virus is attacking it is old people it is sick people and people who have so certain um certain heart problems and uh, lung problems and that sort of a thing okay so that means your immune system is low because if someone has a very strong immune system where they have been building their immune system where they have been flushing their bodies eating properly dieting and eating properly because diet doesn't work and a lot of people do not understand that diet doesn't work you gotta know what is your blood group it's about coming back to the basis that is the basis that is where you find who you are that is where you start to make changes in your life change who you are as a person and understand why is this happening it's because we have been running past our shoes we have been flying past our little nesses and now the divine is saying come back in come back in come back in let's go back to basis let's understand who we are okay so when you have gone through that you're going to be realized that after whatever country you are after the shutdown after the things you are really um loving who you are and understanding who you are because it's the most beautiful thing when you do a reading with someone and they see you so positive and so good and it's not you know the things that you weren't seeing it's coming up and they're seeing that so you know there's nothing to fear fear is a form of consciousness that was created by the ego why are you gonna fear and let's let's let, let's look at this why are you gonna fear okay people um people have a group collection where they choose to die in group this is like huge crash hurricane um the wars and all of that let's think why are you fair are you fair in dying why are you fair in dying because what is there to be fair if you don't know trust me you're going to be realize that dying is a part of everything dies the flowers die but you're going to be realizing oh my god what was i fair in oh my god this is so much beautiful oh my god I, this is oh i can breathe okay what is dying it's just that the body and the, the virus is uh, yeah that's it you know um your body your immune system is not strong enough to fight this virus off and this is the way um you have planned to go out okay so um people don't die if they're not supposed to die a lot of people die and return because it wasn't their time so what are you gonna fear dying no because your immune system might just fight this virus off without me even knowing it is just a time that the omega and the divine mother is saying start working on your immune system okay you're going to be starting to figure out what is my blood group and start eating the food that is connected with your blood group and you're going to see for a lot of you that you're going to be just losing weight and can't imagine you're going to be looking at things how to boost the immune system and not in extra note you're going to be looking at herbs and 
uh, stuff and things to eat and uh, and, and realizing how to abuse the immune system. A lot of you are going to be learning to eat properly. And this is a, so with everything, with every disaster and with everything, it teaches you something because you're fearing this virus. Why? Why? There is no fear, ladies and gentlemen. Why are you fearing something that you're not aware of? You can't fear something you, you're not aware. You're just getting bits and bits of information that is putting you in the place of fear. What is fear? You got to let it go. Deprogram. It's a time of deprogramming. So, ladies and gentlemen, each and every one of us come here to die. All right. And if it's your time, it's just your time. And you can't turn it back. And you can't, that is when you can't turn back the ends of time. Okay. And this is why I kind of wonder why people say sorry. Because why would you say sorry when you do something? You know, you were going to do it. You know, why would you say sorry? Um, but sometimes, Sorry is the last thing to say, but let's face it. Um, there needs to be specific changes happening on this planet. Being shut down is helping the ozone layer. So people educate yourself. There is just so many, so many assets, faucets to this situation that is going on. It's not only deprogramming yourself, but it's helping the ozone layer also, ladies and gentlemen. So put away the fear, okay? Deprogram yourself and think positive, okay? And we couldn't all be out there because we'll all get the virus and then we all die. So they had to shut down. So please find something to do and educate yourself, listen to something, read something, learn something new in this time, let it go and stop listening to these uh, um, fair based information that is coming out. I love you guys. And I'm saying peace.